fucking furries. I can't watch Seth's videos. For those who don't know, he really likes the thing where Seth's friend flashbanged a furry a lot. Too much, in fact. I didn't think you could like that too much. Okay. Fables here, yes, he is. Anyway, time for Seth. And to make sure that I have it on the right screen. He's doing Earth Defense Force 6, which I wonder how it is different from 5 hey, now. People. Seth right. here. So, I did my part. We all did our part, but yeah. it wasn't enough. It's oh. been three years since we killed God, and we're still no closer to reclaiming our world. <laughs> what the the aliens hell? may be gone, but the monsters they've left behind have made life all but impossible. The oh, you can shoot their arms off? ruled by monsters. Damn. At this point, maybe we are the invaders, and they are the EDF now. Well, uh, I kind of don't. They're still the invaders. Wait, what? Just got what? 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 I tell what? The Earth Defense Force 6 begins now. This game has finally been released outside of the theocratic dictatorship known as Japan, where the personal the computer is a heretical relic, and releasing a good PC port is considered apostasy. Mm. Oh. Luckily, the developer... Actual sound? What the? Elfers <laughs> aren't getting excommunicated, as this game, which is about 80%. Oh, you can ride on the back. The bigger guys can ride on the back of the truck. An EDF 5 by volume somehow has a worse PC port. And this. Wow! Does it have. <laughs> How is that even possible for it to have a worse PC port? I. Well, I guess I'm playing on console. Despite not being an Epic exclusive, this game uses Epic online services for its multiplayer. Why? Why? Fable, tell me why. I should have known they were going to do that. <laughs> I should have known everyone. I, I should have. <laughs> you set me up. I didn't you set you set up me on purpose. Up, I know. That's what makes it so much better. Oh my god. Ah, yes. Let me just <laughs> sign in with my Lego account. You can Lego account? You can't turn this off. And every time you get an achievement, <laughs> it locks your controls and you die. What? Okay, we need to get rid of Epic Store as soon as possible. Dear God. Are so back, yeah. back to the past, because that's where we're going. Now, you'd think the phrase EDF okay. plus time travel would be a good tone indicator for this experience, but. The uh, EDF is never a good tone indicator. You never know if we're going serious or silly, honestly, yeah. with these games. The first one I played was Armageddon, and it had a pretty serious ending where you die. Oh dear. Yeah, because basically they're like, okay, you set up the big bomb to destroy everything. Uh, we're kind of leaving you here, and then. Like, the lady's like, no, we're getting you out of there. And then she tries, and then your ship gets shot down. And you're just on the ground while the bomb is about to go off. You'd be wrong. Watching this game unfold is like giving a 20 to your local tweaker. After the gas station dick <laughs> Just use Asmund Gold as that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. And two hits of bang energy kick in. It's impossible to predict his next move. And yet, it's strangely <laughs> captivating to watch him wrestle an officer while urinating with a full erection. Speak what the hell? Jesus Christ. So, that was, uh... I don't know where that even came from. Sometimes I think Seth said things that come from actual experiences in his local neighborhood. And I, uh... Don't know what his life is like. And I'm honestly not curious with some of the things he says. King of which, our sponsor. I need money for fentanyl. Hey, game, <laughs> do you want to know why? We're Did you have to say invasion? that before? Because someone, you specifically, forgot to install ExpressVPN. That's oh, right. Boy. Earth Defense Force is a metaphor for what happens when you I browse kind of the doubt net that is. without a VPN. Like ants to a picnic, your unsecured connection attracts all manner of unsavory characters. From your ISP to scummy data brokers and government glowies. Who knows? Oh, what my God. That's a... Uh... If you didn't know, there's actually several Hololive girls in EDF 6. Like, you can clearly see the Hololive symbol right there. That's... T I... Kiara Takuma... It's been a while since I've watched Hololive. 
they want. And I think what also Gura is in here. If you're lucky, they'll just sell off your data to the highest bidder and turn your life into a living hell of targeted advertising. If you're unlucky, they'll establish a detailed record of every illicit detail of your personal mm. life and use it against like, you, you to ruin your life. Oh. That's right. You'll be forced to resort to making TikTok slop content just to get by. Fact I'd prefer not to do that, thank you very much. Fully, ExpressVPN stops all this and more by routing all of your internet traffic through a secure encrypted tunnel, allowing you to browse the internet anonymously, securely, and privately. Use okay. it to stay safe anywhere, even on unsecured public Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, now Good. that's what I call a picnic. <laughs> Personally, I use ExpressVPN to protect myself from my own landlord. At the moment, I have him fooled. He thinks mm. I can barely make rent, but as the oh. owner of my Wi-Fi network... Oh, he he's buying a bunch of... I actually know a few people that would buy all this. Like, Kazuma oh, Kiryu. Yeah. <laughs> Kazuma Kiryu stuff. On he eBay? Everything I do. If he sees what I purchase online, he'll jack up my rent. But with ExpressVPN, Wi Fi owners can't see goddamn. what you're up to on their network, oh, making he's total privacy just one click away. Now, I can go about my normal business and occasionally turn it off to Google things like what to do if very poor, how to make money for rent, and is it healthy to eat cement? Just <laughs> God damn it, Seth. To answer his question, no. None of you should eat cement. Ever. I shouldn't have to say this, but we have those kind of people in the world, so I apparently need to say this. Yeah? You, you heard what I just said, don't eat cement. Yeah, don't eat cement. To throw him off a trail. Express VPN. VPN is consistently rated the number one VPN by CNET, The Verge, and tons okay. of other tech reviewers. And unlike oh. me, they actually have a reputation. Find <laughs> out how you can get free months of Express VPN for free by oh scanning Did the you just QR code on screen, frickin... clicking the link in the description box below, or by going to what the hell? com forward slash That has to be Earth a mod. Defense Force 6 innovates on the EDF format of reusing 90% of the last game by okay. having you time travel back to literal copy pasted EDF 5 missions. Wait, what? The entire intro is a highlight reel of brain rot from a previous title. In these okay. five months, humanity has lost 30% of its population. 30% is incredibly high. God. For all 30% of all humans are dead. That's still not too bad. What? And since my mind has blocked out all EDF related memories as a trauma response, it still hits just as hard. What a chaos. I think we'd bring back some kind of super weapon or strategy. But remember, no. this is a universe where everyone eats glue, including <laughs> the aliens. What we've brought back is far more valuable. That is. Advice. Advice, oh. such as shoot the glowing weak point. In the original timeline, this took the EDF months to figure out. What Your the hell? helps a little, but the aliens are sending new enemies back in time as well. Wh We're playing what? a game of quantum chess, but every player is retarded. So, what's new? What the hell? Not much. Welcome to EDF. You get one new mechanic and quality of life features, which should have been there from the start. Oh. These new damage numbers. So now, I can see I'm doing exactly one damage. <laughs> the ranger can now turn oh. while sprinting. This took That's years nice. of progress. Everyone gets a new backpack weapon slot, so now oh. you can actually use all the stupid shit that would have otherwise cost you an entire slot. That's backpack actually really weapons good. also reload passively, so now you don't have to hold it out for a real life minute to reload your turrets. This entire series is built on breaking you down, to the point okay. where I'm giving praise each time oh. it gets marginally better. Wing Diver gets an infinite durability, spammable shield that blocks everything. Its intended oh. purpose is to survive attacks and get some breathing room. Its actual purpose is to grief your teeth. <laughs> Playing Damn. alien causes a unique form of brain damage, where all of your dopamine pathways remap to prioritize Big Bomb at the cost of self-preservation. CDF5 try to fix this by adding more limpet guns in a third weapon slot. What the hell? Uh, Air Raider is always the craziest one because they get the biggest booms out of everyone. Even the Fencer doesn't get nearly as many crazy weapons. Oh dear. And they're the ones that get the big guns. EDF-6 has given up completely. Now you have an entirely new category of drone strikes, which can uh, work underground or in a timeline where all of your artillery crews are dead. An offenser gets oof. literally nothing. He's exactly the same. Just, huh. just like 5, he goes from broke to broken, from garbage can to Gundam, the console of the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the fence, really good fencer players can pull off some bow 
Some real the bull. PDF's enemy designs take from the late Confucian yeah. philosophy of CBT maximalism, which what? falls into one of the following categories. Instant death shotgun. Instantaneous corporeal relocation. I can't see what the <laughs> fuck is going on. I'm having an epileptic seizure. And the rarest category of all. Actually good. If they have a gimmick, EDF uh -oh. will make damn sure you know about it. These aliens are armored. They're fully protected. Clad in armor, head to toe. Okay. Where do we even need? have new gear. There are just a few heavily armored aliens. For example, okay. the flying drones have a unique mechanic, the oh, rules is. of which are described to you in excruciating detail. And what is it? When you shoot an enemy, they get mad. One of the simplest game mechanics <laughs> that anyone, no matter how much their mother drank during pregnancy, <laughs> can figure out on their own. Yeah. In every game, you would not need to drill this into the player. But yeah. this is EDF. I've spent the last 15 hours inhaling what? nitrous and holding left click. I'm grateful for this reminder. Because what with the hell? I, uh, Fable, do you have anything to add here? I literally have no idea what's going on. Like, legitimately. I don't know. Fable I, usually I don't doesn't know, know what's going on. Especially in Seth videos. I I don't know what is it about his videos, but they confuse me. Mm-hmm. Zero explanation, a new red drone shows up. And oh. if you aggro more than one at a time, you're already dead. Oh! That's supposed to be a decoy. In EDF 5, they were useless. I don't know. Uh... Useless because they had no health. In EDF okay. 6, very useless because the aliens won't fucking shoot at them. <laughs> oh! Yeah, for so. Why don't they shoot at the decoys? What? Yeah, hold on. Yes! And yeah, that was of uh, Gar Gar right there. and Kiara. Alright. I'll keep moving on. God damn it, Fable, you uh, for those who don't know, he just posted it on Twitter what I said what I said. Tell me why, Fable. I'm gonna fucking Yes, he just posted this. <laughs> don't you laugh! I'm sorry. This is so funny. You got so upset. You just posted on Twitter for some reason. I didn't mention it was you, though. I just said Fred. I'm sorry. Anyway, moving EDS forward. This network of radio gaslighters will keep you stocked I'm up dying. on genuinely dog shit. Why are you violence. dying? This is so funny. Dear God. Anyway, moving and forward, I guess. Suicide bombers show up, and you're told to run oh. away, hold your ground, shoot the bombs, don't shoot the bombs, and link up with Charlie. Charlie okay. is the key to all this. A terrifying new enemy. However, are we going to hold shift? Their weakness is the shift. What? Key. Surprisingly, what? most of the new designs aren't terrible. Androids shoot their hands, which is a physical projectile that can be shot out of the air. The new drones have weak spots and dodgeable attacks. The crew okay. are actually interesting. They can block attacks with their energy shield until it overheats. Heats. In the game's ah. own words, the black ones don't work. It's genuinely fun combining different gear and strategies to get past their shields. And then you play a mission with a rolling pillbox, and all that praise goes out the wind. Holy sh! Oh no, they're gonna be super fast and also be able to crush you and push you around because they knock you to the ground. Because they're pillbugs. They're giant pillbugs, and I don't know why. They like to make them no, roll I need to make one thing very clear. Cheat engine is no longer optional. <laughs> I complained about the drop system in 5, but now it's worse than I could have possibly imagined. Let me give you a quick rundown. Enemies drop armor and weapon crates. Armor crates permanently increase max HP by 1. Weapon crates okay. are gacha tokens that yeah. give one spin of the end of mission reward wheel. These weapons yeah, they could be randomly or the same one. come from a genuinely schizophrenic loot table based on oh. mission number and difficulty, with a bias towards whatever class you're playing. Getting duplicates, levels up the star statistic. This is not a small bonus. It brings oh. the weapon from borderline useless to borderline griefing. If you're oh. operating under a reasonable assumption that that I did not know about the weapons. Difficulty options are purely a matter of taste. EDF will punish you. If you play mm. the entire game on normal, you'll encounter only 25% of all items. Oh. If you want a smooth progression through all of the weapons, playing missions at the developer intended armor and weapon levels, you'll have to play the entire game. And I'm not making this up. 
16 times what? every single mission on every single class on normal, Jesus. hard, hardest, and inferno difficulty. That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a friend of EDF, and all I can think is no. No. <laughs> what the heck? I, um... Yeah, no. I have. I don't even know what they're Explore. thinking. You can use cheap. I don't know what else I can say about this. By several thousand and play on hard, so you only miss half a drop table. And if you're worried about cheating, diluting your experience, it won't. Every oh. mission has a hard limit on max health and weapon okay. level. This isn't just a polite suggestion. Oh. I'm asking you to cut out 60 hours of grind, so you can find out it makes no difference because you get one shot anyway. I, I mean, this yeah. Game is insane, but it doesn't truly become clear. Until that just looks like a seizure warning happening in front of you. What is that? Is that a floating ship? I can't tell. So you shoot at the time machine again. You know you're what? in for a treat when you see the words, The Earth Defense Force 7 begins what? now. This is when you realize we're not using time travel to stop ourselves from eating glue. This is a race through time to oh see... Oh my god, it's another kaiju monster who thing. Who can eat the most glue? <laughs> or the <alien. laughs> oh my god. You heard that too, right, Fable? Yes. The race to eat them, who can eat the most and right now, they're winning because <laughs> they can send new enemies back in time, but we can only bring our memories back to our bodies in the past. The scientist who travels back with you tries to make use of this, but each time he does, the EDF sends him to the psychiatric ward. Whoa. He's looped so many times, he's memorized the game's dialogue. I oh. mean, I don't actually know how many times he's looped. He just said he lost count, but the EDF's greatest weakness... Oh, so this dude is looped so many... Oh, dear God. That's horrifying is numbers, so that's not saying much. When mm. he gets locked up, the title of smartest man in the EDF goes to Steve, the uh. only man who can count all the way up to ten. Yeah, and it's number nine. The ninth one out of ten. <laughs> Truly our brightest man. Ah, uh, I'd kill for a meal. I'd even eat a monster at this point. People smarter than us have already tried. I what? believe them, because... What? People have tried to eat these things? Why? I don't know. Why would anyone eat these... Ugh, these giant... Frog creature. Okay. Anyway, I guess I've got to have to move on a bit and say we're moving on. This is a post No Child Left Behind. What universe. is that? EDF has a very particular what way. What the heck is that? Enemies. First, you'll do a normal mission with normal dialogue. To me, that looks like something you fight in an armored core game. Then, near the end, the NPCs will randomly bring up something you've never oh. heard before. Like, I would have never believed that demons would rule over the surface three years ago. You're left wondering, is that a metaphor? Then, you go to the next um. mission and... Cruel. Oh shit, they weren't kidding. What? That cruel is getting prime toppy. <laughs> okay. EDF has finally gone full insane because they somehow looped at the time travel with all of this. I, um, uh, uh, cover eyes and ears now. I'll, uh, I'll be over Their here. The situation is so hopeless that many in the EDF are seeking God. Not in a religious I mean... sense, they are physically looking for God. <laughs> what? The possibility of his existence gives the EDF hope. Not hope that he'll save us, but hope that we can beat him to death ourselves. <laughs> However, that's not going to work this time. So we really need to figure out how to use this whole time travel thing to our advantage. Okay. The Earth Defense Force 8 begins now. Wait, this what? Time, the scientist managed to avoid the insane asylum and uses his time traveler knowledge to invent newer and better weapons for okay, the EDF. And better. then he gives us the plot twist. The aliens aren't from another planet. They're from Earth, but millions of years into the future. They're not um, teleporting in monsters that look like giant ants. They're sending the result of millions of years of ant evolution back in time. The what? aliens evolved from an Earth where mankind is extinct and the world is ruled by monsters. When they okay. asked, are we alone in this universe? They discovered the ruins of human civilization and went back in time to check us out. When they descended in their egg-shaped ships, early humans mythologized them as gods. However, okay. one of them said, imagine drunk driving one of these and did exactly that. What? After finding the ship, humanity realized, oh shit, there's aliens and formed the Earth Defense Force. If the okay. EDF exists, the world will never be ruled by monsters and the aliens oh. will never evolve. Then what the hell kind of story is this? We have time traveling monsters that are actually from Earth are trying to destroy humanity because they want to preserve their um oh my god fable are you still there yeah i don't want to be but i'm still here single drunk driving incident 
just time paradox the aliens, but they have one last option to stop themselves from getting blipped. They and evolve guys. from a world where humanity is extinct, so they just need to make us extinct. Now, you may be thinking, why not just go back and turn Grug and Grunga into paste? <laughs> because that would cause another time paradox. Uh. If they solve the problem too early, then they never needed to solve the problem, and okay. will never solve the problem. That's why they invade at the start of EDF 5. It's just after the formation of the EDF, so there's still a reason to go back and invade. All of this means we have a chance. We just okay. have to do well in one loop, and we can time paradox the aliens out of existence for good. This time, we do so well against the aliens that instead of emerging from a bunker into a war zone, you're greeted by an army of advanced soldiers. Oh, good. high-tech utopian Wakanda. What? Then you blow it all up, but despite your efforts, the aliens are still one step ahead. How? Every loop, they send their evolved ships back into the ring. Turns out, these ships carry a log of everything we did during the war. Oh. And they go back in time and use that to retroactively win the war. They've been okay. doing this the entire time, but out of everything in this fucking game, they are being subtle about it. At the start of the game, a uh. ring ship appears. Then, in the next mission, everything is destroyed. They didn't just move quickly. They went back and changed the timeline. We can only go back in time by shooting at the ring at a specific time but if the aliens okay. time travel before then they can retroactively change the current timeline from one where we have 10 billion civilians to one where we <sighs> have 500 civilians because of edf's uh, time travel rules every mission takes place in its own temporal pocket dimension what and the hell to change the timeline past or future I, uh... queued, and all the queued actions resolve when the mission ends if we're in mission 50 and you send me back in time to introduce your father to competitive league of legends uh, you can watch me leave and you'll be perfectly fine then uh, on mission 51 you no longer exist because you never existed who are you? <laughs> so, when a mission ends, the evolved ships going back in time gets resolved. And in the next mission, you're fucked. The scientist oh. couldn't care less, though. He's got bigger issues at the moment. And that is... There goes my ulcer again. In order to win, we have to do so well in one loop that we can assault the time machine before the evolved ships can go back in time. Okay. We're done playing around. It's time to win this thing. The Earth Defense Force 9 begins now. Dear now, Lord. we've gone all the way back to the very beginning of EDF-5. This is the payoff for everything we've had to put up with. From the very start, the EDF has giant mechs called Bragas lying around. Good. Why don't they use them? Because they're construction cranes. The EDF oh. doesn't even think to use them as weapons until months later. But this time, you snuck your weapons through the metal detector, so you can <laughs> save one guy that dies during the tutorial. Turns out, this was the single most important person in the fucking universe. Why? The linchpin that turns the tide of the entire war. This one guy is the only person who knows the code for the Braga. Oh elevator. my god! In EDF 5, the base gets wiped and they have to fish out the Bragas from the rubble. But this time, they drop the anchors and you hold the line, punching them to death and saving the base from annihilation. Every mission in this timeline corrects all of your mistakes. These guys oh. got squished by a pylon, but now we can block their convoy so they don't. When the dropships appear in EDF, five you're okay. not allowed to kill them because nobody has ever tried shooting the glowing weak point <laughs> but now as a civilian you start blasting them out of the sky and get immediately conscripted because they don't know your soldiers yet. Yeah, because you're when a civilian right shows now. Up, you waste no time and immediately bring out the Braga to kick his ass. In yeah. fact, this timeline goes so Oops. well that the EDF has developed their ultimate weapon. What? Braga with a gun. <laughs> The aliens are throwing uh. everything they have at us. It's time for us to use our own trump card. Okay, what Another is it? Braga. <laughs> This is basically the perfect timeline for us, but the aliens still manage to send the evolved ships back. Okay. If we want to win, we need our own ace in the hole. Luckily, and that is? The scientist has one. The EDF's ultimate secret weapon. Coincidence. That's what? right. Random chance. The aliens have a finite number of evolved ships across every time loop. Oh my if can go back and we destroy one, then they can only send nine back in the next loop. So all we have to do is time loop infinitely and eventually kill every single evolved ship, stopping them from going back in time oh and wiping our progress, God. and actually allowing us to gain the upper hand. To communicate this, EDF did the last thing I expected. Uh. It got meta. To go back in time and kill the evolved ships, you have to physically go back for your mission select screen. These include the only mission that takes place at night. They can reuse oh. their entire game three times, but darkness? Whoa. 
That's way too disruptive. We can uh. only do that once. After that, you're finally ready to assault the ring. You gather the EDF's finest and attack. Then, they all die and tell you to run away. Great work, uh. guys. You shoot the ring and it goes horizontal, opening its portal to rain enemies. Oh. It's revealed that you're not just fighting one group of aliens from one point in the future. You're fighting all aliens from every what? point in the future. They're throwing everything they have at you, but nothing is more effective than the ring because it stuns a player in real life. Then, oh. the final boss. That thing is officially our enemy. Attack. Of course, everything in EDF a is flying big, dragon but this thing. thing is legitimately too big. It flies outside the skybox, oh attacks my God. by turning an entire city block blue, and oh outruns all of your attacks. When you blow its head off, the front opens up and is revealed to be Mega God. What? What the fuck is happening? The time <laughs> I don't even know. Fable Seth doesn't even know what's happening anymore. It's okay. We no one ever knows what's going on anymore. Someone help me, please. I don't know how to, bud. I really don't. I never tried um, to create this. I don't understand its insanity. Neither do I. This is why I'll never do a time travel story. Travel rules have either been making sense or the oxygen deprivation <laughs> has finally gotten to me. Allow me to explain what's actually going on. Okay. We are currently in a time duel to determine who gets time paradox out of existence. Humanity. Or the aliens. The aliens caused the time paradox with that little ship crash, and we caused the time paradox by launching a dirty bomb at Mars to prevent the crew from evolving. Now, time itself has chosen us as humanity's champion, and Giga okay. God as the aliens' champion. Whoever loses this fight gets their entire species time paradoxed out of existence. I'll reiterate: time is a sapient entity <laughs> which manually resolves paradoxes by handpicking <laughs> contestants for a death match. This is. <laughs> What's going on anymore? Time is now alive. Oh dear. <laughs> no longer humanity versus aliens. This is four retards versus <laughs> God's final form. I don't know what's going on. Somehow you beat Mega Goss. Remember, aliens, you're no match for the indomitable human spirit. I've met men who could goon for 36 hours straight. I've met stronger men who could flicker goon for seven seconds. What? Humanity always has and always will overcome adversity because we have something you don't. Stupidity. And you get nothing. No ending. Goodbye. Thank you for the 60 bucks. Earth Defense Force 6 is a lobotomizing experience where every single design choice is intentionally wrong. It's a sacrificial altar where you trade neurons for dopamine, coded by Emperor Hirohito himself. The weapon descriptions are lies. The dialogue is primordial brain rot. I am the Manchurian candidate. My yeah. MK Ultra activation phrase could what? be any line of dialogue from this game. God, I hope it's not mating season. But I'm not what? complaining. Coming from a race of people with a history of being fried in DiGiorno Easy Bake Ovens, parting with $60 was a difficult decision, but mm. it was worth it. This is a series made by the same five guys for the past 20 years. Pretty I'm much. cheering them on. Nonsense is an antidote in a world where nothing makes sense and there's value in something that transcends reason. This is a product of unintelligent design and I love it. As always, uh, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. Uh, They're all truly wonderful. Uh, Have a good- Fable? Yeah? I don't know if my head hurts from laughing or from that crazy video or that crazy storyline. It might be a combination of both because honestly it sounds like the storyline got very weird and they didn't really know how to continue it so they just threw a bunch of ideas at the wall and went with whatever stuck. Sadly, just, what just, stuck was the bad parts. You just end up fighting Mega God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they really ran out of ideas. They're just going time travel and when time travel goes, things go out the window. <sighs> uh, if that end when they're just like, 
Oh yeah, it's time as a savior being. I couldn't hold it in anymore. <laughs> I feel insane. And that's not even like the nearly insane I felt when I was... Well, I felt I feel more insane than that one time we watched a video when we were learning about the... The world of darkness. Uh, okay. If you guys want us to watch more crazy things, you know what to do. I'm gonna go to the restroom. Also, oh. also, if you want me to do even more crazy shenanigans to Mech, feel free to subscribe. Not to Mech, but to me instead. Why are you going to do crazy things to me? Because it's funny. Haven't I suffered enough? Hasn't my pain no. already been... No. You know you didn't yeah, need right. to immediately say that, right? <laughs> I know. Anyway. We'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go to the restroom, get something, and then probably stream. Personally. Alright. If anyone wants to be there, that's... Well, I wouldn't mind having friends while I stream an indie game that I've never played. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.